Oh, blah hi. We really in it now. Good kitten internet. Been a while since I've done a personal update. It's slightly over a month, in fact. And one of these good kittens is right here. The other one's actually directly in front of me. Ooh, it's been a bit. Today is, what, the 11th? So tomorrow would be my mother's 72nd birthday. The day after would have been my mother, or is my mother's, um, the four-year anniversary of my father, mother's death. So not the greatest of weeks in general for me, but, you know, life. Anyway. So I've been living in the new place for... A little over a month and I've been living in Norway for right at about seven months a little under well sort of I've actually been away from Norway for a few weeks earlier the I mean, roughly three and a half weeks total so I'm just gonna call this the six month mark and yeah it's close enough um <laughs> <sighs> Yes, kitty cat. Of course, kitty cat. Is the camera crooked? No. It's in. Silly kitty. So, uh, how are things going? Because the last life, life update video was a bit on the bleak side. Sorry about that. Um, not great, but not awful also. Uh... So, let's see, um, Creator's currently back at their place, they'll be back later on this week again. Um, there'll be a Starfield episode going live in about five hours from now. Um, five hours? Yeah, five hours from now. Um, hmm. Uh, there's multiple Starfield episodes edited, uploaded, just waiting to be queued up. Oh, he's so full of purrs. So that's been going well, and I'm sure Kreatir will want to record as many Starfield episodes as is humanly possible this coming weekend, which, given that I'm role-playing both days this weekend, might not be too many. It's in don't rub up against the tripod. I'm having to hold the tripod down to make sure Isin doesn't rub up against it. Cats. No Isin. No, I don't want you rubbing up against that kitty cat. So, um, Norway. It is December, as mentioned, it's the 11th of December, which means that it's pretty close, but not quite the shortest day of the year. Um, we have about six hours of daylight right now. By daylight, I mean sun up to sundown. Sunrise is, what, about 9.30 in the morning, and sunset is about 3.30 in the afternoon. So it's not the land of midnight sun level, but there's not a whole bunch of sunlight. Although there, it, we actually have relatively clear skies right now, actually. Hold on, let me show you. See, I am not actually going to walk outside, so apologies for the glare. Glare. But you can see, like, fairly clear skies. And yes, there's snow on the ground. Um, there's also a Nissan right there. Um, I was told by multiple people online that Bergen doesn't really have snow that stays for more than a few days. This has been here since I got back from the U.S., which has been over a week at this point. Um, a week and a couple of days, in fact. And it was actually a fairly healthy amount of snow. A lot of it has melted at this point, because this weekend we didn't drop below freezing, so it's been very slowly melting. So, uh, in U.S. terms, it looked to be about three inches of snow, which is highly abnormal for here, especially this time of year. But otherwise, weather's been reasonably decent. Uh, I think we're finally warmer than Madison again. <laughs> Yep. Uh, this past weekend was, and I think it's still going on. Um, sorry, I'm in the middle of my lunch break right now. Uh, this past weekend and still ongoing is a series of Christmas markets here in Bergen. 
I've never really lived in a place with much of a Christmas market. I have experienced it traveling before. So like for instance, Madison, they may have had one, but I never attended, but there were towns around Madison that did. And I had attended the one in New Glarus. Oh, that would have been 2008, maybe 2009, really early on in the time that I was living in Madison. So I'm not completely unfamiliar with the concept, but this, as editor me is currently splicing in the footage that I took from that night, is not exactly what I was expecting. So I had a trip that I was taking to go to Ikea um, this past Saturday, and the point that I swap buses happens to be exactly at the Christmas market. Um, or the main Christmas market that was going on, which looked to be more of a fair than anything else. Uh, this is the type of thing that I would expect, say, um, whatchamacallit, uh, for a fall festival or something like that. But this was definitely a winter market. Also, I was not expecting Korean food there. But uh, it looked to be a lot of fun. I walked through it a little bit later on after I got my medication to walk back to a bus stop. And then this footage that you're seeing, I recorded at like 4 p.m. for reference, so 1600. Um, <coughs> yeah. It felt like the entire city was actually out and about doing things that day. That actually felt really nice. Uh, I need to get out more often. Luckily, where I've moved to, it's a little bit easier for me to get to places. So to give you an idea, it takes me about, what is it, 25 minutes to get from here to downtown? Whereas it would take me about 20 minutes at the previous place to get to the bus stop to be able to leave to go to downtown. So slight difference, just, just a little bit. Um... Let's see, what else is going on? Uh, my Norwegian is still awful, as expected. I have started looking into classes to take starting at the start of the year. Um, the official classes, or the classes that I found that cost a bunch of money, I don't know if that's going to be the greatest of ideas for me, mostly because, well, it's not just that they cost a bunch of money. It's like about 600 US dollars for reference for one set of classes. That's what? Was it three months of two or three months? It's like two and a half months, something like that, of three classes a week for a couple of hours a day. But the times were awful for me. So like my options were something along the lines of three days a week, uh, maybe editor me will actually edit this in. I don't know. Um, three days a week where I had to start with the training at like 17.15 and 17.30 and 17.45. Which is probably good for the people who are working a standard 9 to 5 job and go home at that point. So they basically just instead of going home, they go to the language workspace or they do go home and do an online training type thing. I don't work traditional hours. Um, I'm actually on my lunch break right now as I'm talking because I wanted to actually get this done while there's light. Um, yeah. I don't work traditional hours. I work slightly deferred hours, which is to say that I work later than normal, so I have more time overlapping with the, my coworkers in the US. What this means is that my normal workday doesn't end until 18 slash 6 p.m. Or later, depending on whether I had appointments in the middle of the day or whether projects I need to work more closely with other people. Uh, right now, I'm kind of shifting my schedule even later than normal because one, I don't have anything to do after work anyway. And two, I'm working heavily with coworkers on things right now, so it's better for me to have more hours overlapping them. Whereas normally I'm working by myself, it doesn't really matter. I'll just get things done early on. So, um, it's in no numbing plastic. Ugh, this place is a mess. It's one of the things that I need to work on while Kreator's not here, is cleaning things up because holy crap, this place is a mess. It's in. Hold on, he's trying to nom a mask now. 
Let's see, I finally picked up a little light for recording, so hopefully the images um, while playing Starfield of myself and Kate here will be a little bit better. Um, this is just a USB-C powered light from Ikea. It's kind of neat, except that this cord is kind of short. And I don't have a close way of powering a USB-C port. So I will probably need to use like a phone charger or something like that. Which, not the end of the world or anything, just kind of annoying. If I would have thought about it, I would have picked up a charger while I was at Ikea. Um, Isn't is just rubbing his face against everything. Yes, I'm talking about you, kitty cat. Your brother's not here. He just wandered off. <sighs> Let's see. Um, mental health is still a train wreck here in Norway. I still do not have any mental health coverage whatsoever. Um, I am going to be trying to find a private psychologist slash therapist to handle things from both my perspective and my partner's perspective. I have not done so yet because I only got back a week ago and I have been going around crazy since then. Um, don't really have time to do anything. Like, what, yesterday was the first time that I actually got a chance to spend some time at home without having to rush off for something? And I need to rush off today after work for that matter. I need to get groceries. Um... Speaking of medical health, I've mentioned before that I didn't really like my doctor or the medical center that I was getting uh, treatment from. So, good news, my doctor quit. <laughs> yeah, um, I got a notice. Technically, I got the beginning part of the notice was getting a phone call from my clinic rescheduling my appointment to be next year which is actually a problem that I realized afterward because that meant that I had to pay for it. Hold on. My cats are fighting each other or playing with each other. One moment. I'm trying to make sure that Isun feels calmer today because I woke up this morning to a massive circle of cat vomit. Um, I did not realize Isun had eaten that much food in the past 24 hours even, so that's always fun. Um, anyway. So I got called with a medical appointment, rescheduling my existing scheduled appointment to be next year, which sucks because that now means I have to pay for it because otherwise I would be, I'm at the limit for how much money you have to spend to think, hold on. Cats. Is it any wonder why I'm having problems focusing when my cats are doing things like this all the time? Um... They behave, they misbehave more often when Creator's not here. I don't know why that is, but they do. Um, they actually misbehave less often when neither of us are here, which is another weird thing. Anyway, um, right, medical appointment. So I got called for the reschedule. Uh, they didn't really explain why they rescheduled it. And then I got an online letter not an email, an online letter, there is a difference, from the medical center going, hey, look, your doctor has quit. What this means is that you no longer have a primary care physician until one can be assigned. So suck it. XOXO, Norwegian Health System. Uh, so effectively what it is is that I am being treated by whomever has time at that medical center. Mind you, this is the medical center that the only reviews that are positive are fake. So that means that my healthcare coverage is actually worse now than it was last month. Where at least last month I had a doctor who seemed to be apathetic about my existence. As opposed to now where I don't even have that. I don't have a doctor at all. Um, yeah, uh, the doctor that I had for reference only started in June. The fact that she has quit, at least according to the letter, after five months seems a little weird to me, but given that Medical Center has a history also of chewing up and spitting out doctors, I think I see what's going on. Um, I am on a wait list for another doctor, and I think the last video I had mentioned that I put myself on the wait list, at the time of the video, I was the 65th person on the wait list. 
At the time of the letter, I went, oh, well, maybe I'll be able to change doctors somewhat soon. Let me go check on the wait list. I am now 63rd. At that rate, I will not be able to transfer to a new doctor for five years. And it's not like I chose a doctor with a particularly long waiting list. In fact, that doctor who now has a much longer waiting list, 63rd on the waiting list would be, except with one doctor as an exception, a shorter wait list than every other doctor in this entire city. Uh, as per Creator's Men request slash recommendation, I'm going to look at neighboring towns that I can potentially get a doctor's appointment in instead. Because this is dumb. This is really dumb. I do not understand how the medical system is functioning here. And I believe the answer is it's not. From what I've been able to see from people online, basically anything outside of either the middle of nowhere or Oslo, the medical system is falling apart because doctors aren't paid enough to stay around. You know, there's definitely a solution to this that's not going with an American healthcare system. Just saying, maybe stop voting conservatives in power that keep slashing budgets for national health insurance? Maybe that's just me? Speaking of conservatives in power, they are talking about cutting one of the bus lines here, specifically the one that I use the most. Um, like, there's a list of cuts that they had proposed and weirdly enough, it's all of the bus lines that are used the most. So like for instance, there was one specific bus that um, I took every so often back at my old place. It traveled from downtown Bergen to Stromae Terminal, which is um, technically outside of Bergen city limits, but not by a whole bunch. And that bus was packed. Anytime that I tried to take that bus either to or from the mall that was nearby me, or to or from my place from downtown. It was basically completely full if I was going at a time that was anywhere near normal times. So like for instance, let's say I'm tr I am had a medical appointment, I'm trying to get back home and it's 1.30 p.m. slash 13.30. It would be completely jam-packed. There would be standing room only, and sometimes not even that. There was one time on the bus that I was there that they actually just whizzed by a bus stop because they did not have the capacity to pick anybody up. And it was not even time for people to get off of work type of thing. Those buses are just continually crammed full of people because there's such limited amount of ways to get to and from the island. And the bus was one of them. Uh, the traffic going to and from the island on car is ridiculous also. So they're canceling that. Or at least proposing to cancel it, along with a bus over here, along with buses all along the town. They're trying to delay the implementation of the Baibanen by Baibanen being local rail, uh, light rail. And there was a proposal, it was approved, everything had gone through to put, place down the rail going north out of the city, up to another suburb. And the Conservative Party came in. The leader of the Conservative Party had pledged that they would not touch the Baibanin. It's already settled material. And all of a sudden, they're going, you know, we should shove in a proposal for trying to blast the tunnel through this mountain instead. So let's take three years to decide that. Does this type of delaying tactics remind you of anything? Just... Just saying, you know, matter of settled law. That probably triggered a few Americans that are watching this. Um, so that's not great. I don't feel... I, I feel more welcome in this place than I did in the previous place. That's not to say I feel welcome in Norway. Um, there have been a lot of people that made that damn clear, to put it mildly. Uh, <laughs> it's been a an awkward experience and I still don't know if I'm going to stay I keep mentioning that I'm giving it at least a year and it's at least a year from right now is that I'm giving it at least a year specifically I want to make sure that the US doesn't elect Trump before I decide anything because if the US elects Trump I'm not returning to the US because 
Oh, holy hell. No. No, no. No, 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 no. No. Mm -mm, mm, mm, mm. No. Um. But that just means that everybody in the world screwed over, not just the Americans, and I should try to get away from American sphere of influence as much as possible, which means not flying or moving back to the US or even moving to Canada. But I'm not necessarily ruling out moving some other country. It would require me to find a new job. Speaking of employment, um, I am still employed with my existing employer, but my employer has been bought. They are, they've been bought by a public corporation. This is in the news for reference. This is not hidden knowledge or anything like that. They have been bought by a for-profit public corporation. I mean, the company was for-profit before, but you know what I mean, public versus private. And everything is finalized. And like the purchase has gone through at this point but they're not actually changing anything until the start of 2025, which means that I expect to receive a notice of a layoff January of 2025, because I cost a lot of money living in Norway, which means that the company is paying Norwegian taxes. The company outsourced my HR, which means that they're paying like 40% above my actual salary for HR to take care of things. I am not cheap and I'm the only one out here. The closest employee coworker of mine lives in Portugal. That's not exactly close by. I am fully expecting the worst. I'll hope for the best. I'll hope that everything is perfectly fine. I'm not expecting it. And none of this is secret information. You will notice that I am stating this in a public video. I'm not making this a an unlisted video where I'm talking about things and not linking it on the general internet very often. No, this is public. I, everybody who has been, is working for a company that's been acquired by another company goes through the same types of things. I am not going to do anything right now, but I am going to start learning or looking for another job because I don't know if my job is going to last for too much longer. More, a, a year? Yes, more than that, I don't know which kind of ties back to the whole, do I go back to the US type of thing? Because I don't think I can find a job here in Norway. I don't speak Norwegian well enough. And yes, I'm going to start lessons as previously mentioned, and my Norwegian a year from now will be better than it is today. Even though at the moment, I feel like my Norwegian today is worse than it was six months ago. Um, certainly haven't used it as often which is weird to me, but whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes to the employment thing. That, I, I kind of need an income. I have a lot in savings. I don't have enough to retire on, not even close. Um, moving here to Norway actually obliterated about 10 years worth of retirement for me. So yeah, not expecting a whole bunch. And Norwegian salaries for tech workers like myself are much, much, much lower than normal. Um, it's generally European salaries for tech workers are lower than average. Or lower than average American salaries, I mean. Um, so for an example, with my level of experience as a software developer, I would expect to receive a 50% pay cut, which I would not be able to afford the place that I live in if that's the case. You see what I mean by this being awkward and complicated? Um, yeah. Don't really have a great happy thing to settle on, but I'm in a better mood at least. I'm sure people can tell, but there's a lot that's going on in my mind. I'll go ahead and cut this here before I have a half an hour long recording. Besides, I only have a half an hour for lunch. I'll talk to you later, Internet. Bye.